So you've worked really hard, you have your A-levels, you have your degree. And you now want to apply for your dream job. What could be easier? The world is your oyster. Surely these great big companies, multinationals, are just going to open their arms to you. Uh, not quite. You see, companies want to make sure that you haven't blagged your way in. They want to know for sure that you have the acumen and aptitude to operate within their organization. In essence, the SHL is no more than a collection of questions testing arithmetic, percentages, and ratio. However, when you throw in a time constraint, multiple step questions, and some weird looking graphs, you get some quite extraordinary results, actually. So what am I going to do today? Well, today I'm just going to summarize some of the typical questions that you may encounter on an SHL test. So here we have up on the screen, I think the most typical four questions. Working clockwise, we have a line graph here. We have a bar chart, which this one is horizontal, but it could also be vertical. We have a pie chart and we have the table. There is a little bit of variation amongst these graphs, but the general theme is this. Pie charts and horizontal bar charts, or could be vertical bar charts, are generally the easiest questions on an SHL paper. The reason for that is probably twofold. One, the question setters are quite limited to what they can do with a pie chart and a bar chart. And secondly, pie charts and bar charts, generally speaking, have about two to three steps in them, which puts them at the lower end of the difficulty scale in terms of SHL questions. The next level up in difficulty is usually reserved for these line graphs. The graphs themselves are actually not that difficult to interpret, but quite often there's a lot of information underneath and in this particular case, although it's a little bit difficult to read it, there's a batching situation where you have a figure or a price, a value per 50 or per 20. You then have to read the units that you have up there and then divide it by the batch and then multiply it by the value. Because of this, there are a few more steps involved and it makes these a little bit more difficult, which means the top spot on the difficulty scale for SHL questions is unequivocally reserved for table questions. Table questions present the biggest challenge for applicants because one, they bombard the applicant with lots of data that they have to process. Two, there's often data in there that's not relevant to the question being asked. And three, there's often three to four, sometimes five steps associated with the calculations required to answer a table question. That does make the table questions the SHL king of kings. And for most applicants, a very tough challenge to get completed within the one minute time constraint. So in the next video, I'm gonna be working through some of these questions so you can start getting an idea of how we have to break them down in order to get them completed in the allowed one minute time. So I hope that whets your appetite today and inspires you to come back and have a look at some more of our videos. And we'll be doing quite a few of these over the next couple of weeks because it is application season and you do ideally want to get your foot in the door and make your applications as soon as possible.